what's up guys welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel so as usual my people may have some things i'm gonna share with you guys so the first thing we are getting at is a can in we're going in a westmoreland seeing two can in going in a westmoreland so let me share that one here we do know first man gone down in westmoreland a man was shot dead by unknown assailants in garden white house in westmoreland on monday evening his identity has not yet been revealed deputy superintendent of police dsp in charge of operations in westmoreland uh, westmoreland police division adrian hamilton confirmed the incident with our news team adding that the deceased was shot by man by men sorry traveling in a white toyota axio the man was taken to the black river hospital where he was pronounced d-e-a-d -E the police are now processing the crime scene so we are gonna move go over all in a mountain view people with wagwan yesterday seeing then we go back to westmoreland again a search for criminals who reportedly fled saint catherine to evade the security forces following the declaration last week of a state of public emergency soe in the parish led to the one man being shot and killed by the police at 72 mountain view avenue in kingston on monday sparking outrage among residents according to the residents who black roads in protest the killing occurred sometime after 5 a.m. and they insisted that the deceased, who is known to them as Krubs, was not a criminal and was not wanted by the police. The residents described him as a man who was just trying to find his way through life. According to the police, members of a joint Jamaica Defense Force JDF and Jamaica Constabulary Force team went in search of criminals believed to be on the run from St. Catherine when they were reportedly challenged and during a gunfight, Scrub was shot. Based on intelligence, we understand that men were displaced from the St. Catherine area due to the SOE. The men opposed the police when trying to apprehend them. One man was shot and injured. He was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead. As we speak, Detectives are on the scene and we are also waiting for Indicom, the Independent Commission of Investigate, Investigations, to commence their investigation, said Deputy Superintendent of Police, Mr. Garden. One JDF member was shot and injured during the incident. His condition is serious but not critical. The residents blocked the roads in protest over what happened. But I want to say that for criminals there will be no safe haven if they flee we will catch them anywhere they go even out at the man say even out in the ocean if them go out there they might go catch them right? right we are determined to catch them and bring back law and order we want this place to be a place where people can live work raise family and do business garden said before revealing that no guns were seized following the incident even with soldiers walking around with rifles in hand and masks on their faces residents did not hold back far hold back their frustration when speaking with the media the residents claimed that they could not think of one valid reason why scrub was shot and killed as he allegedly was the one who opened the door to allow the police and soldiers to enter his house they said it was sad that he lost his house to fire some time ago and now he has been killed at the house to which he relocated the youth live here he was sleeping and they went and knocked on the door the youth opened the door and they took him out and told him to pull another door he told them he wasn't going to pull the door because he does not live in there and they just executed him one resident said so you hear the part of the people boy them say seeing is believing here is a lie believe half of what you 
see and none of what you hear. Me can't imagine them just dash him away right there so because him now pull the door. You know what I mean? And people, sometimes the police and soldiers, them come on duty. And them come on a raid or a mission or whatever. You know what I mean? Sometimes them come mad and crazy because them know where them are come face in other area there. So, some of the time them say, soft answer, turn it away, wrath. You know what I mean? If I saw it go for real, maybe him could have tell them, say, him not have no key for the, uh, for the door. So him can't open the door and them do what them want to do. Because you as a man will live in the area, you can't go open the door there and see a bad man door. You know what I mean? And then when them all up and them are kill the person, them are in at the, in at the house, then your name I go call say, boy, are you open the door? So maybe that him did I run from. You understand? But me don't know how it goes still and the police them for know say them for acting at the confine of the law. No matter who the person is, God, them say them no wala, them not them not get no machine after the ends. You know what I mean? No machine was recovered. So this looks spooky to me. You know what I mean? So me no know if you say go on here so me dep on the fence, same way. The article longer in you know, a people. But me not go no more in it. More want to know, tell more anything in you know, the comments. You so me I say, and it's alleged say other youth here, the police them. Did I look for him name B A B K I L L A? Seen, I may go see if me put up in picture so no can you know what I mean? See a who me attack. So here what them say B A B K I L L A hiding out in Mountain View says JDF this morning fatal shooting along Mountain View Avenue in St. Andrew was a result of security forces searching for. Black River Lockup SKP, them are BABKILLA Williams, the Jamaica Defense Force, as said. The JDF made the revelation in a statement released on Monday. Williams is one of the eight prisoners who escaped from the Black River Lockup in June 2023. Since his escape, information received is that he has been reportedly hiding out within communities affiliated with the one other gang based in St. Catherine, the statement said. Due to the state of emergency that has been imposed in St. Catherine, Williams and other one other gang members were provided with safe haven in Mountain View community. The JDF also suggests that Williams is a very close associate of prominent one other gang member who also frequents the Mountain View community. It is reported that during this morning operation, members of the security forces were fired and by threat forces a service member and an unidentified man were both shot and injured the police confirmed that the unidentified man later died the jdf say it remains relentless in the joint pursuit of gunmen and criminals and the maintenance of law and order seen so that away the jdf them say so I am these people, you know what I mean? I am them say them did I look for other members of the one other gang. So we are gonna move on, my people. And what do you look at altercation go on a club maker where we see people are scatter and the security them whole a man and them a give him some liquor and sitting. A bag of things go on. Right? So that man you wanna sit on the screen right now. Him name must be Panda Bar, something like that. You know what I mean? It's unofficial, unofficially reported that him get caught up and drop out a club maker this morning. Yes, so me I say, and people are speculate. Say boy, the incident we go on in a maker cause him to lose him three points. You know what I mean? And people. Yo, no matter which position you're in, you know, that's why you see some of the police, them, you know what I mean? A soldier, them really have a license machine. You know what I mean? Certain type of work where you do, water work, you know what I mean? Police, soldiers, security. You have, to have a license machine. Although that no means say you have an extra life, but you have something to protect yourself. You know what I mean? And some of the time, all the time, you have to know you have to deal with people. No matter what your job is, you have to find a way, you know what I mean, when 
when you are an inf- enforcer, you see me I say meaning law or security, you have to know how to do your job. You know what I mean? You have to make a person who say, yo, I me at the authority, yes so. You see me I say without kinda really go overboard and disrespect a person because yo in a Jamaica right now if you take a three points my people I know nothing people life I know nothing may I tell you no straight you know what I mean it's nothing too much machine the boat and too much youths willing for mash a crime you understand so if him really lose him three points RIP to him and condolences to his family you know what I mean me no know if the incident cause it or something else. You see me I say? So just be careful about the people. I know you do your job. I know say you have a job where you have to enforce certain things. But some of them person here, them take it overboard. Enough people now nah, go take the disrespect. Maybe if it happen when nobody now nah, see a man we walk away and say, alright. You know what I mean? Him disrespect me, but not in a crowd. But when you have a video float on social media of you getting disrespect, a man I go and get him get back. You see me I say? So as me say, I don't know if I that cause it or something else. So as soon as there's more information, I go share it with you guys. So we are going to go the Westmoreland thing, you know, my people. Man shot dead in Kiev Hill, Westmoreland. Hours after a man was shot and killed in White House, Westmoreland, on Monday evening, another man was gunned down in Kiev Hill in the parish. The deceased has been identified by his alias as Cat. Deputy Superintendent of Police in charge of operations in the Westmoreland Police Division, Adrian Hamilton, confirmed the incident with our news team. Our news team understand that while the police were busy processing the crime scene in White House, they were called about another murder in a neighbor, neighboring community. Reports are that about 6 p.m. Scott stopped to remove a tool from the trunk of his station wagon when a bike rode up and the assailant fired multiple shots, hitting him to his upper body. He died on the scene. Investigations are ongoing. So people, just let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up on yourself and thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Big up.